Well, look at me. I'm playing a restaurant manager. Um, a wealthy young man whose father owns the hotel and the restaurant where I'm working. Used to be the place to be. Um, and the film starts in a moment in which, you know, the restaurant is not as great as it used to be. Um, and then um, uh, all of a sudden this crazy chef uh, turns up, um, whom I met in Paris because we worked together in a restaurant. But then it all became a bit of a mess because that chef, uh, Adam, played by Bradley Cooper, um, yeah, ended up on the... Uh, on a on a bad path, so um, he disappears. Uh, but then he comes back and uh, wants his third Michelin star, and blackmails me, saying, "Listen, kid, I'm gonna help you making your restaurant Langham the place to be again, and I'm gonna get my third star, and then I have to I have to say yes." It's, it's like a love-hatred relationship, and it turns uh, out to be then eventually a love relationship. I mean, we really do like each other in the end. But there's another extra thing that, again, I can't, I can't tell. But probably the audience will know after a couple of minutes what the thing is with me and him, especially with me. <laughs> I was very intrigued by it because I'm um, an owner of a restaurant myself. I opened a Spanish tapas restaurant in Berlin four years ago. Um, and so, you know, I was, um, and I became a foodie. I mean, I was a foodie before, but since I have this restaurant, I, I pay more attention to what I eat. And I'm very curious to find out new things and, and uh, investigating uh, all the time. I learned it from him and from another great guy uh, working in uh, Marcus Waring's restaurant. And they both said it's, um, what was that image? Um, yeah, um, moving around the restaurant like a swan and pretend that everything is fine and being very quiet and polite, even though uh, you may have like big problems inside and you have a mess back in the kitchen, uh, which you can of course never show to, to the people, to your guests. But sometimes there is that, you know, um, that inner conflict that, you know, it's, it's uh, in an hour, it all goes wrong. The chef is a maniac. Uh, it's, it's, uh, the dishes are not right. The food is not right. But still you go out there and say, hello, is everything fine? Blah, blah, blah. You know, so it's an extreme pressure. And that's uh, what I could witness um, um, in these restaurants, especially in the in the Marcus Waring restaurant, it's just it's it's about perfection, and it's 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 so obsessive and it's so precise that if something goes wrong, like a little thing goes wrong, it's a huge catastrophe. There are really like soldiers, uh, the guys working in the kitchen. And the pressure is extreme, you know. So you have to be very passionate and very tough to survive in that, in, that, in that business. And we're so, so lucky to have Marcus Waring on board, who is the supervisor, and he's always there, you know. For, for all these kitchen, kitchen scenes, whenever we have a question, uh, we can ask him. And um, so the food, he, he has created uh, uh, dishes, he has created food uh, for our film. Um, so it all is um, very, very authentic. It's very international, so we come from all uh, all these different countries, uh, and it is like in the in the kitchens I've seen. So we have uh, we have an Italian chef, Riccardo Scamaccio. We have a French one, uh, Omar, uh, English, uh, an English chef uh, with with uh, Siena, Americans, German, Spanish. Uh, so it's all a uh, a mixed bunch, and uh, it's a very good vibe, I have to say. I mean, it's, we really get along with each other uh, very well, and. Um, and it's interesting to see um, uh, and to get in conversations with these guys because you, you get to learn so much about, you know, different cultures. And we always speak in different languages, so it's, it's pretty interesting.
If there's good chemistry and things go well, then it's great. But um, well, you 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 don't want to get into trouble. You don't want to do anything wrong because being yelled at, insulted, screamed at by by a chef, I mean, really, have to, you 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 have to be tough. Yeah, and it's the working uh, uh, the working hours are are, are crazy. It's always good for an actor if you know that you're in the hands of a, of a guy like him who has this incredible track record. I mean, he, he's so experienced uh, because of, you know, uh, the great uh, cinema and TV he is, he's done and, and, and made it all look and feel so incredibly authentic. He makes you feel unrestrained and comfortable, you know. He gives, he gives you the, the right portion of freedom to create your character and bring a lot to the character, but then he also exactly knows what he, what he wants. And there's little indication, but whenever he says something, it makes total sense. I, I, I never doubt it, uh, not, I mean, not a second. He, he, he's, um, uh, he has an eagle eye and he would always know if there's some, something, if there's something wrong. Of course, I was a bit nervous the very first, first day uh, I met Bradley because my friend said, "Oh, Bradley Cooper," and and, and knowing and in, in uh, what what our relationship would be like in in the film, I thought like, hmm, uh, "Well, hopefully I'm gonna like him, and hopefully he's gonna like me, and <laughs> we, we'll get on." And after the after the first scene, we already, you know, joked and uh, had had a had a had a very good time. And um, and it has become even better now. He's crazy and weird um, in a, in in a good way. I mean, he's an obsessive. Um, as I say to him in in one moment, uh, because um, later in that film we we share the same psychologist, and my psych psychologist said to me about him that he has a compulsive obsessive compulsive disorder um, and that's and that's and that's true i mean and most of these chefs are, are you have to be you have to be crazy and obsessive uh, because otherwise you won't make it you won't you won't become a a one two or three michelin star uh, chef in the kitchen people are yelling at each other and it's it's, it's all you know it's it's a, so it couldn't be more different this contrast of the hectic uh, and and craziness in the kitchen and then this uh, silence and the perfection in the in the restaurant itself you know the character that Bradley plays is a chef who um, is keen on creating dishes and make foods which tastes like good food, you know. Uh, meaning uh, this, 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 um, um, this fashion in cuisine to make it more experimental and and crazy and crazier with mo mo molecular. How do you say molecular? Yeah, cuisine. You know, it all, you know, has come to a uh, to a point in which you and and even I say that's that's over the top. You know, because it has nothing to do with with the actual product. So it also the film deals um, with the philosophy of of these different chefs of the ones who say let's go back to the roots, let's celebrate the product and using good product, and then the other ones who are like chemists and then you know um, so um, so that's an interesting aspect hello Valerie here with a cool movie fact Josh Hutcherson read the entire Hunger Games trilogy in five days to prepare for his role as Pita for this and more movie facts click on more videos See you.